The 40th anniversary celebrations of the National Housing Development Authority was held in Colombo today. President Maitri Palasirisena presided over the event. The event was also organized in line with the 95th birth anniversary of late President Ranasinghe Premadasa, who was the founder of the National Housing Development Authority. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and Deputy Leader of the United National Party, Minister of Housing and Construction Sajid Premadasa were also present at the event. <laughs> Honourable Prime Minister, just as this Housing Development Authority is celebrating their 40th anniversary, this government has been in power for the last four and a half years now. There is only about four months left to face an election. It is now time for the post-mortem. The main reason the government was spoilt during this period of four and a half years is the 19th Constitutional Amendment. The people of this country allege that myself and the Prime Minister are pulling in two different directions. This situation of pulling the country in two different directions was created by the 19th Constitutional Amendment. Mahindra Rajapaksa, through the 18th Constitutional Amendment, introduced monarchism. We created the government to abolish the 18th Constitutional Amendment. The 19th Amendment created political instability in the country. There is no longer one proper leader. Both the 18th and the 19th constitutional amendments need to be abolished if the country is to move towards a more positive direction. If the 19th constitutional amendment was not there, these four years would have been more prosperous. We must accept the mistakes made by us. 215 of the 225 MPs in Parliament voted in favour of the 19th constitutional amendment. The constitutional experts who drafted the 19th constitutional amendment did not think that this country would be destroyed like this through the 19th constitutional amendment. For a government system favourable for the people to be created, both the 18th and the 19th amendments should be abolished. The president expressed these views about Minister Sajid Premadasa. We extremely value the leadership provided by Minister Sajid Premadasa to the noble initiative started by his late father. There are two reasons why I respect Minister Sajid Premadasa. Some ministers do not have these two qualities. One of these qualities is the dedication, motivation and honesty he has towards his work. The second reason is Sajid Premadasa is a politician free from corruption unlike many other politicians. Some people accuse me of favouring Sajid. Some say I even speak highly of him. I will speak highly of everyone if they are free of corruption. He is a person who works all day. That is a characteristic that should be there in all politicians. When the government was formed in 2015, the Ministry of Housing was given to Sajid Premadasa. He recommends the program to create villages and build houses and that is why we are hosting this event today. We must also think about the future. We have to build more houses in the future. Especially the younger generation faces many difficulties in purchasing houses after they get married. I especially praise Minister Premadasa for continuing the revolutionary initiative introduced by late President Premadasa. I would like to state that 441 people who were given appointments during the previous government, 76 who were recruited to work on a daily basis, 2,827 who are currently serving on contract basis and 180 trained employees will be given permanent employment in the coming months. We hope to construct 20,000 villages by 2025 and west them with the general public. Also, I would like to remind you that after the initial 2,500 villages are constructed, under the program, the remaining 17,500 villages will be constructed as storied housing complexes in rural areas. Officials at the National Housing Development Authority who rendered an invaluable service to the authority were also felicitated at the event.